everyone now in this video I'm going to help you to solve word problem in perimeter and area okay are you ready to study okay here we go before you uh, solve the problem I'm going to give you the trick first how to solve the word problem the first one read the question carefully okay read more than one time if you need okay the first one is this one okay read the question carefully read more than one time if you need the second one underline the keyword okay of course in what problem there is keyword there to know the operation that you are going to use okay the next one find unknown site that you need okay that we learned already about how to find unknown site okay the last one remember the formula of perimeter and area Okay, remember these tricks. There are four tricks here, but this one is different. Like uh, what problem in whole number or decimal? It's a little bit different. Okay, you have to find unknown side, and this one remember the formula. Okay, next to the real question. Okay, this question I took from the workbook, page one hundred thirty. Okay, I took picture, and then here again number root number two. I'm going to read the question. Okay. Rennie has a cardboard measuring 90 by 18 centimeter. What do you think? Is it square or rectangle? Of course, this is rectangle. Why? Because this is 90 centimeter, this is 80 centimeter. It's different size. Different size. Okay. C cut. Huh? There is keyword here. I'm going to highlight this one. Okay. This is a uh, keyword cut. C cuts out a small rectangular piece measuring 15 cm by 20 cm. Okay, at first, the big rectangle and else and C cut the small pieces here, small rectangular here by 15 cm uh, to 20 cm. Okay, what is the question now? For question A, find the area of remaining cardboard. Okay. And the second one, find the perimeter of the remaining cardboard. Okay, we are going to answer for question number A first. Okay, find the area of the remaining cardboard. Okay, as you know that the first one is big rectangle, right? And also C cut the small rectangle here. How to find the rest? This is cut here. This is keyword here. Cuts. Cuts mean minus. So later you have to minus it minus which one okay I'm going to label it first every single rectangle here okay I'm going to label it let's say this one rectangle 1 this is rectangle 2 okay the first one of course the big one the before the rectangle is cut it okay so I'm going to find the area of the big one the the what you call the rectangle at first before uh, C cut it. How to find the big one? Cos 90 times 80. The answer is 9 times 8 equals to 72. And then put to 0 at the back. Don't forget to put the unit is square centimeter. Done. Now how to find the area of the small one? Or area 2. Easy right? Just 20 times 15. 20 times 15. The answer is of course 300. 2 times 15 is 30 and then put one zero at the back become 300 square centimeter okay now you know the area the big one before you cut it before she cut it is 7200 square centimeter and the small one the one that she cut 300 square centimeter how to find the rest of of the what's called the rest of covered the shaded one you have to minus it why because she cut cuts mean minus so seven 
thousand to a hundred square centimeter minus three hundred. Oh, it's not enough. The answer. I'm going to put the answer right here. Okay. What is the answer? Let me count first. The answer is six hundred. I mean six now six thousand and nine hundred square centimeter. That's the final answer for A. Okay. Now the second one. Find the perimeter of the remaining carport. Okay. To find perimeter, you have to make sure first all the side have a number. Let's check one by one. Okay, the first one. This is 90. There is a number there. This one, 80. Okay, for this one, there is no number. There is no number here. So, this one is unknown side. Okay. So, later you have to find it. This one, 20. Good. Okay, for this one. Of course, this one is 15, right? Because this is the same like this. Okay, for the last one. Okay, for this one is another unknown side. So, there are two an unknown side here. Okay, I'm going to label it first. The first one, let's say, is X here. And this one is Y. Okay, now, how to find X now here? Of course, you have to find the clue first because this one is horizontal side, so the clues is from another horizontal side. Which one is from 90 and 15, right? So, how to find x here? x equals to 90 minus 15, right? The answer is sorry. The answer is 75 centimeter. Okay, so this one is 75. The second one, Y. How to find Y here? Y, because Y is vertical side, so the clues from another vertical side. Which one? 80 and 20 here, right? So, 80 minus 20 centimeter. The answer is, must be 60 centimeter. So, okay, for this one is 60 centimeter. Okay, now, all the side have a number. 90, 80, 75, 20, 15, and 60, the last one. Now, how to find perimeter now? It's easy. You just add all the sides all together, right? So, how to find perimeter? 90 plus 80 plus 75 plus 20 and also plus 15 and the last one plus 60 okay let's make sure first one two three four five six there are six sides there so there are six number then one two three four five six complete now you have to add 90 90 plus 80 150 so after that 75 this one 20 the answer must be 340 centimeter right okay maybe that's all from me how to solve what problem okay i hope you understand about this so the point is you have to be careful to solve the word problem you have to read the question many times you have to find the keywords okay you have to find unknown side and also you have to remember the formula of perimeter and area Okay, that's all from me. Bye-bye and see you.